street vendors, they carry their sauce in a wooden bucket and noodle in another wooden bucket. So they have to balance themselves with the big bamboo pole. And then they will walk on the street and be like, dan dan mian, dan dan mian. So everybody will come out and be like, oh, we want some dan dan. Hi everyone, my name is Simone. I'm the chef and owner of Little Tong Noodle Shop. Today, I'm making mala dan dan mi xian. It is called dan dan noodle, which is the traditional name for this ground pork noodle dish. Ma is tingling, la is spicy, so it's tingling spicy dan dan. And mi xian is rice noodle. It's not traditional that we serve dan dan in rice noodle, but we're in New York, so why not? So let's start with pickling some yellow mustard seeds. First, turn this on, put the yellow mustard seeds in the pot. Let's put some sugar in. Let's add some salt. We have some champagne vinegar with water as well. We are slowly melting the sugar. Once it comes to a boil, reduce it to simmer, and then it becomes syrupy and sticky and beautiful. The pickled mustard seeds are not traditional, but the crunchiness, the crispiness, always make people so excited about the dish. While we're doing that, let's pickle some celery. The celery, like the pickled mustard seeds, is gonna add on to the mala dan dan. So for this big guys, let's divide this into a medium cube. I am Chinese, but I am also a Singaporean. I was born in China, Sichuan province, Chengdu city. City of Chengdu is known for beautiful women, little cute pandas, bamboos, and great food. Everybody in Sichuan know and adore dan dan. You can also call it dan dan or tan tan. What we are doing here is adding salt, so adding the celery juice out of the celery to infuse the soft flavors into the celery so we get different texture. At the same time as we are sweating it with salt, we should massage a little sugar into it. My approach to cooking is first respect the tradition because they come before me. Understand the tradition. Why are they doing that? Why are the people in the past are doing that? Appreciate it and then once I know how to do it, add my own spice and touch and sexiness to it. So we let that excitement retain itself. So next, to the crunchy texture, we have peanuts. Let's just cut it with knife. It doesn't have to be a specific size. Sometimes smaller peanuts give you different sensations than bigger peanuts. So rough chop is best. The peanut will also be served right before you eat the dan dan. We're gonna just dress the peanuts a little bit with cayenne pepper, salt and sugar. Sichuan people, we like it really hot and spicy. You can train yourself to get more and more spicy by adding a little more each time. It's an addictive sensation. The next very important thing is cooking rice noodles. You can order it online or anywhere in your city's Chinatown. I'm going to cook this in boiling water without salt is fine for eight minutes. It's a very slippery texture, so whether you put salt or not, it doesn't really matter. You do want to stir this a few times because they will stick together. You can set a timer or you can uh, play two songs. Usually that's about eight minutes. <laughs> we are going to start cooking what I call the soul of this bowl of noodles. It's the dan dan itself. We have ground pork. You can use pork butt, which has higher content of fat. You can use pork belly, which is very flavorful. We heat up the pan a little bit. This is canola oil. It doesn't have to be very hot because it doesn't need to be caramelized immediately. First of all, you want to evaporate the water in the meat first, and then the fat will come out and it will render it a little bit, to, then it will caramelize afterwards. And throughout the cooking process, you want to break this into smaller pieces, so when you season them, all the flavors are going to infuse in all the nuts and crannies of the pork. While this is cooking slowly by itself, let's go back to the celery. After 30 minutes or so, all the juice has come out and it has to become a different texture. We are going to add some rice vinegar just to cover it so that the savory and sweetness of the juice mixed with the acidity of the rice vinegar, it will make this pickle very delicious. So as you can see now, the meat juice is going to come out and we want this to evaporate, concentrate the meat flavors and also render the fats. The dandan is kind of like an international Chinese food because Sichuanese cuisine is so well loved and well traveled. Let's deglaze this with a little Saoxing wine. Saoxing wine is Chinese cooking wine, but if you don't have it, you can use white wine, sake, Vodka. Pixian douban is another essential ingredient for Sichuan cooking. Pixian is a county in Sichuan. They ferment fava beans. So this is a fava bean douban jiang. 
super fragrant. Natural fermentation. Let's add them in. The fava bean, it kind of smells a little floral, a super savory umami. It's like the Sichuanese answer to miso paste. It's hard to imitate the traditional or authentic Sichuan cuisine if you don't have the pixian dou ban. However, if you don't have it at home, you can also use miso paste or the Korean dou ban jang. Let's add the chili powder. Two songs later, we should get the noodle out. So let's lower the heat a little bit and continue to add the ingredients. We have Sichuan peppercorn. It has a tingling, numbing sensations when you eat it. We have sugar, white pepper, and Lao Gama chili crisp. For Sichuanese, to say that chili is an authentic cuisine, it's really not. It's only been in China for the last 200 years because honestly, it's from South America. So before that, they eat a lot of Sichuan peppercorn and cardamom, garlic ginger, galango. As you can see, this is a ground pork that is packed with flavor. It's pretty crispy and concentrated. We're not shy about flavors. We have oyster sauce and some dark soy. Dark soy is mostly for the coloring. This is definitely a very selfish thing because I love this version. So I'm going to feed you this version. A must have for Sichuanese Dan Dan is Ya Cai. Ya Cai is the tip of a master stem. The bottom part is more popular, but this is more mastery. So we're going to use this one. As you can see, the color is beautiful. Now, the mirepoix is scallions, garlic, and some ginger. We're gonna put the mirror pot towards the end so you can still taste all the flavor. If you wanna cook this, you should use the white part. The green part, you can just dress this on top of the dandan. We're gonna have the bigger ones and then chop them together. Mince some garlic. I've lived all over the world and cook all over the world and eat all over the world. Many different parts of China, Australia. I went to college in North Carolina, UNC Chapel Hill. Tar Heels! Went back to work in Hong Kong, Singapore, Chengdu, a little bit of Beijing. And then in 2010, I decided that I must be a chef. Inspired by Chef Wiley Dufresne of WD50. I came to New York. I enrolled in a culinary school and I visit him. I was like, chef, I need to work for you. No? Okay. Please let me work for you for free until you hire me. The rest is history. We can zest the ginger. For this amount of pork, maybe I say a teaspoon of ginger. This has been cooked for 25 minutes. You can see the oil is sizzling at the bottom and the smell is just tingling spiciness. Time to plate. Let's get the noodles. Top it up with however amount of dandan you want. Can you see the beautiful color and the contrast? Life is good when the food is good. And then we're gonna put the pickle mustard seed, pickle celery. I also like to put some of the celery juice, rice vinegars on the side. The acidity will bring up all the spiciness as well. In terms of crunchiness ingredients, we're gonna put the peanuts around. This is a little tongue chili oil. It's infused with many different kinds of spice and sesame, so it's very nutty and fragrant. And my beloved vegetable, peach tendril, that adds some health and crunchiness. Voila! This is our mala dan dan mi xian. You must always mix your noodles. Mmm. The pork is super tender, super juicy, and it has a hint of sweetness, but then overwhelm you with the slight tingling. It's addictive. Mmm. Come to Little Tong Noodle Shop. And for the recipe, please click the link below.